Hello and a very warm welcome back to the channel from Winchelsea and I'm lucky enough to have picked a perfect day to tour this gorgeous coastal home. Now the influential owner here happens to be an interior designer to the celebrity world so her signature style is everywhere in this place and the house is so good uh, there's a book about it called Faded Glamour by the Sea and quite honestly I think that sums up this beautiful beach house on the Sussex coast perfectly. I'll leave a link to the book's website below. You can have, have a look at that, follow up on it if you're interested in learning more about maximalist interior and design and styling along with a link to her website. I'm going to get straight to business today as we've got a lot to see. I've got James Tarry, our lead photographer working his magic here and my colleague Madeline Cooper who's helping with proceedings. Um, we might bump into them as we're walking around the house. Um, what we're looking at today is the main house which is four bedrooms two on the ground floor and two on the first floor there's two bathrooms there's a snug a boot room and a beautiful open plan living area and at the back of the uh, very sizable garden we've got a self-contained cabin with two more bedrooms let's go and explore Um, it's a bit blowy today here on the coast, so uh, apologies if there is a little bit of wind noise. I'm trying to keep that to a minimum with my microphone, but here we are. This is Shell House. Um, I'll link the, uh, as I said in the intro, I'll link the, the information on this place to the Unique Homestays website, as this is already an extraordinarily successful holiday let as well for the owners, which uh, has a huge following. But we're on uh, a road called Morlays Ridge, and uh, this is just views either way. It's very quiet, and just to this, well, this way, basically is south, heading down towards uh, the sea to Winchelsea Beach. Uh, we've got a nature reserve immediately in front of us, just off, just across these bushes. Then you've got another road called the Ridge, and then you've, you've got the the beach. But hopefully, you get some sense of the isolation out here. It's um, it's quite magical, if to be honest with you. Um, it's one of those places that it's it's so quiet it almost feels addictive. Um, it only feels like you've left the uh, outside world behind. Anyway, the Shell House gets its name from these shells here. The previous owner was an artist and uh, decorated it uh, in with all the shells that she found up on, on the beach and uh, the owners took over here a couple of years ago and then completely and utterly renovated it, remodelled it and created what it is today. And that, uh, if you can just see at the side of the house, that is a Virginia creeper and when that uh, is in uh, in the middle of autumn that goes a lovely um, sort of golden red colour, very very nice, very very sweet. And there's parking here for about, I think you probably get five cars here, so two end to end there and then uh, you get three cars across the front and up, up there you've got the decked area and those doors there which open which you'll see shortly open into the reception area and the bedroom so you just get the flow you open up the windows the doors everything it just becomes that lovely uh, beachside house which is, it is right so we're going to head into the entrance now you might find this a little bit odd I don't think so when and I hopefully explain why but we're straight into the utility and boot room and actually what the owner has created is something uh, very practical with so what you've got here is this arrangement so you can imagine summer it's lovely no problems at all with the you know, sort of muddy boots and that sort of thing but a winter walk down, down on the beach you've got the dog and uh, everything's a bit wet you come in here you can wash things off. There's a shower immediately outside the, the, the front door at the front. So wash the dog down, come in here, take your boots off, get all your coats and everything nicely hidden away. And then uh, it means you're not going to drag any mud and dirt into the main house, which is here through this door. Right, just inside the uh, lobby utility slash boot room and we've had a look at the, some of the, the pictures of the ground floor bedrooms already in the intro but I want to show you upstairs now it's holiday let it could be a family home I mean it's got so many possibilities here but this floor this is the first floor almost well, self-contained on its own really stylish lots of vintage glamour uh, very owner's signature but self-contained so if you do if you are a, a couple with with kids who can occupy the ground floor this suddenly becomes a very nice usable space that 
you can just hide yourself away. Look at that. Gorgeous bedroom. These lovely timber vaulted ceilings. You've got the white uh, white painted and uh, sorry, white painted floorboards. You've got this freestanding bath in the corner here. Clawfoot bath. South facing at the front here, so just beyond or just over bushes there. That's the the uh, nature reserve, and you may just be able to see in the distance the roof of a house. That's the ridge. That's where you've got the beach in front of uh, that that uh, street, the road. Sorry, the, the ridge. And there we go. Lovely room, full of romance. Really beautifully finished space. And then across the landing here, just to my right, we've got a loo. And then into the what is currently used as a bedroom, but if this was just your private first floor space, you could turn this into a lovely little dressing room or a little reception if you wanted. It's almost like a little self-contained um, apartment. But um, yeah, if you, if you have got guests and you just want to tuck yourself away, it's just it feels it feels very private, very serene. And again, vaulted ceilings here, and all the whitewashed woodwork, floor and walls. Right, I am going to now head on down to the living area. Okay. Straight into the enormous kitchen. Now you've got the central island here. Again, as with upstairs, all the walls and all the floors are glossy, faded, glamorous colours. Lots of vintage styling again. This is a Devol kitchen and featured in one of the Devol books actually, uh, their latest uh, coffee top, coffee table book, I should say. And that's, uh, oh, this is a professional uh, Ber Berazzoni, hopefully if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a Berazzoni uh, professional standard oven and hob with six ring gas burner here. You've got this tiling along the wall here, this back, back tiling. Gorgeous marble countertop. Double basin there. And those doors open out to the terrace at the front or the decked area at the front that we saw when we arrived. And nicely zoned, little sofa area there and big social dining space works perfectly with the kitchen so no one ever feels left out if you've got some nice social gatherings. This is a little curtained off area for the big American style fridge freezer. And then neatly segue round to the living room. Again, vaulted, big windows, all everything spills out onto the rear decked terrace. Painted floorboards again, big corner wood burner there. So not just a house for summer, you know, you get the curtains closed, warm drinks on, fire going, and it's a lovely coastal windswept place to be with everything going on outside and you're nicely tucked away in the warm. And then out neatly onto the terrace area again, a big social area. There's my colleague Madeline. Hello. <laughs> I found the best spot in the town. You did, didn't you? What are your thoughts? What do you think of this place? Well, I'm staying. <laughs> I'm staying. Why would I want to move from here? Favourite room? Uh, well, I'm enjoying being here. This is a lovely place to work and I've always wanted one of these. But um, I love the fact that there's a flow to the house, that all the rooms seem to connect with the garden. Yeah. Uh, and yet each are, are quite individual and private. That's right. And there's no... Uh, escaping this, this. The, the owners are very big fans and uh, long-term members of Babington House down in Somerset, part of the Soho House group and no coincidence that this pool decked area and the sauna over there which is available actually by separate negotiation but this whole thing 
this whole area just feels like a really nicely put together private members club. So yes, lots of seating, big pool here, um, there's a little shack over there, you could turn that into a little tiki bar if you wanted, but very well appointed. And then if I step back, you get to see the back of the house and conveniently with the most glorious blue sky backdrop. And that wisteria when it's in bloom which just just finished coming into its prime but it's a uh, big wisteria there that's, that looks lovely when it's in full go, in full go now grounds wise we're going to step down here oh that's a nice bath let's follow the purple pathway now this is like a lovely little secret area that's tucked away. I've got all these wildflowers here. And this is the route to the self-contained cabin. Here. Completely tucked away. And I wish I could, I wish there was smell of vision because this, the scent and the aromas coming from this pathway are just sensational. It's really, really lovely. So yeah, this is the, this is the cabin. Again, decked area, front and side. And nicely tucked away, very private. Far away from the house. If you've got kids, we've got older kids. It's just a nice place for them to come and hang out and uh, just stay on their own. So we've got this little lobby area here. It's storage, coats, boots, shoes, that sort of thing, and then into the stable door into this gorgeous room which just feels like a mini version of the house all the signature vintage styling painted floors painted timbers painted ceilings nice little wood burner there snug the boiler there tucked away so we have two bedrooms slightly smaller of the two and then this is the larger and that door opens out onto the deck and then the kitchen this really nice reclaimed wood looks like they've used some silver birch and some maybe that was driftwood I don't know but it's it's a very rustic country feel to this electric oven and hob down here and last but not least the bathroom there we go so that is the two bedroom cabin in the garden so there we have the shell house in Winchelsea. I thoroughly hope you've enjoyed uh, viewing this as much as I have. It's a real pleasure and a real honour to be dealing with this one. Um, I should mention at this point actually that the owner uh, would consider selling the property with most of the stuff in it. Uh, there's a few, few personal items that would go but it could be purchased as a going concern with pretty much everything inside it so bear that in mind. The asking price is going to be 2.35 million and I will link the details to the property to our website when it's live in a, in a couple of days so you'll be able to view more details. If you would like to look at it in the meantime, you'd like an early, uh, an early showing, please contact us via the website info, um, sorry that's uh, uniquepropertycompany.co.uk uh, or you can email us and that's just simply info at uniquepropertycompany.co.uk. Area-wise, we are very, very close to some beautiful parts of the Sussex coastline here. Uh, we are very close to, well, Winchelsea Beach, obviously, with the Nature Reserve. 
Uh, we're close to Rye, which is a Saint Port town, very historic and uh, well worth a visit. And we are close to Pet Level, we're close to Camber Sands, a nice big sandy beach there. And we're also close to Fairlight. And then a little bit further on, you've got Hastings with its old town and St Leonard's on Sea, which have be well, are becoming a bit of a mecca uh, for people to move down from London. And for good reason, it's, um, it's, a, it's a nice part of the world. So that takes care of the tour today. If, uh, if you'd like, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love to know any comments or any thoughts you'd have about it and your uh, thoughts on the, on the styling white, which I think is fantastic. I do like a hist a, well, old vintage retro and uh, glamorous interiors. Uh, there we are. I will see you on the next tour. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe until then, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye for now.